Hey everyone, it's Eliza, and I'm going to do a make stage makeup tutorial of the day. So let's get started. So first I'm going to put on my concealer, and this is the CoverGirl Ready Say Gorgeous Concealer. But, oh, but first make sure you put your hair back. So I'm just setting it back. I'm not really going, I'm just going to kind of just pull it back. So, um, then you can put on your concealer. And this is really great lighting today, so I'm just going to put it under my eyes. And up here. And on any spots you may want to cover up. And I'm just blending that out with a sponge. And just blend it out with a sponge to make sure it's all blended. And this is perfect for nine and up. Or it's just if you like this makeup you can use it but for the eyeshadow you might want to check with your studio but this is me for like a performance like acting this is what i would wear and but if you're dancing i would prefer asking your studio if you have like a certain eyeshadow kind of color so yeah i'm just going to so i blended in all my concealer as you can see and now we're going to put on some foundation and i'm using this um, l'oreal foundation and i'm just going to apply it to the sponge and you just want to dot it all over your face And just blending that out. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm still blending it. And make sure you blend up to your forehead. And make sure it's your color so it'll blend in with your skin more naturally. I'll be right back. Okay, I just had to get a mirror to make sure I blend everything out. Make sure you blend it all over your face so it'll look more natural. Okay, so we're done with the foundation. Now we're going to do powder. And oh, so I'm using this powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I'm just using that with a big fluffy brush. And mine is a powder brush. And this is in my color, so make sure everything is in your color or it's recommended. So just sweep it all across your face. This will set, but also give some coverage to your face. Okay, so sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear that. Um, now that we're done with powder, we're going to move on to bronzer, and I'm using this, bron this bronzer, and I'm just going to put it on with an angled brush, and first, um, just apply that. You want to do cheekbone faces, and contour right here. 
right here. There's also bronze up your face because that's important to have a good shaped face on stage. Wherever you perform. And under your chin to kind of accentuate. And just sweep it by your nose to make your nose look smaller. And then put it at the top. Okay, so now we're done with bronzer and we're going to do blush. You want to make sure you use more of a brighter blush when you go on stage because you want to make sure it shows up. So I'm going to be using this Bare Minerals blush in the color Fruit Kiss and just a blush brush. You know, it's using this blush brush. And kind of swirl it around because it is really bright. And you want to put it on top of your bronzer so you want to make a fishy face. It's okay if it's like really bright because you can blend it when you're done. Okay, so then just blend that with a powder brush just to make sure it looks more natural. Okay, so now we're going to highlight a little bit. And I'm just using this to highlight. Um, just kind of dabbing it and placing it right right there on top of my blush to really accentuate the features and i'm also putting it right here and right here and right here well i can do that later and right here in my Okay, so we're done with highlighting. So we're done with the whole face process. Now for eyes. And starting off for eyes, we're first going to put on some um, concealer on our eyes to set our makeup. Our eyeshadow. We're going to set our eyeshadow. So our eyeshadow will stay on longer and it won't shut up our eyes. And I'm just put dotting. This isn't primer, but it's concealer. But I think it works almost the same. It doesn't work as well. But if you don't have a primer, you can use a concealer. And it also covers up any like things on your eyelids that you may not want to show. Okay. So now we are going to make sure it's blended. Okay, so now we're moving on to eyeshadow. And the first color, I'm going to be using a palette for this. And I'm putting these in the palette. And so I'm going to use colors. And I'm going to be using lots of colors. We're not lots of colors. This is kind of like a brown smoky kind of look. My eyebrushes. And first brush I'm using is this lid brush. And starting off with a white color. So it's your choice of like a shimmery white or light light white or just a white. So I'm just using this light white and put it all over your lid because it's a nice base color. Okay, so we have that on our lids. And now we are going to do, um, so we're gonna do the rest of the eyeshadow. And so for now, we're going to use these, um, this, a brush, and we're going to use a gray color and, um, kind of mix it with the darker gray too, and put that on the outer corners 
of our eyes and it makes you kind of blend it a little bit and just do that on both sides. So it may look really funny, but I promise it will look better. And now we are going to take a of um, this like a dark brown. So let's get rid of that. So we're gonna use that and put that with it in a crease. And we're just using a humongous puff of you. Is this a great color for blending? Um, it's nice and natural, but it's not too much. And sorry if this makeup tool is like really long. This looks crazy. I know it does. Don't worry. We will blend it. And now you just kind of want to blend it with your fingers. And now we're going to take some black. Like, I know this is really long. We're going to blend that in to decrease. This will just darken it up and make it blend better. And this looks really weird. And we're just gonna take a humongous fluffy brush again and blend that eyeshadow out. We're gonna take the lid brush and kind of Smear it to make it look more natural. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move on to more gold colors or like shimmery colors. More of those kind of colors. And let's. We're using, I'm, I'm going to use this palette and it has like golds and silvers up here that are shimmering. And I'm going to use this gold, that gold right there. And this is from like Wild. Yep. Um, use this brush right here. And using the two It's like so pretty, I promise. It's really pretty and nice to put on. So I'm going to make sure I get some of that onto my brush and pack it on. You may not be able to see it, but I promise. And put that kind of on the lid, I guess. And make sure you blend everything out the in if you want to make it look natural. You don't want it to, like, be not blended at all because that would be really bad. Okay, so we're done with the that, that. And now we're just going to use a humongous fluffy brush can and make sure it's blended. So that was the eyeshadow. So now we're going to do eyeliner when I'm not actually using eyeliner, eyeliner. I'm using eyeshadow for eyeliner. So I'm using this brush. And it's like an eyeliner brush to me it is. And so I'm going to be using that black right there. And I'm going to zoom in on me and show you. And so, so we're going to take that black. So we're going to take it and just um, put that and I have to use a mirror. Put it at the bottom of your lash line. I think eyeshadow to me for eyeliner is easier. Most people prefer using wing eyeliner on stage or pencil, but I like to use eyeshadow because it's more natural. Look at this fallout. So I'll get it in just a second. Don't worry about the fallouts because it's you can fix those. Okay, see how we lined it? And don't worry about those fallouts. I promise it'll look good at the end. Like, those fallouts are horrible. You need to fix those. 
So just do the same thing on the other. It's not as dark, so we're gonna put some more. Okay, so we have both of them. Both of us. Under there is fallout, so that's why it looks like I have some under there. So now I'm going to take the other side and kind of smudge it. This will make more of a smoky effect and more natural. Okay, so we are going to use concealer under our eyes now to fix those fallouts because I don't have any fallouts at all. I feel like I ruined my game. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. Again, these fallouts are not very pretty to me, in my opinion. And now we're going to blend that out with a sponge if I can find. And okay, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out now. I look crazy. One second. How looks better? Does it? Matter? You can face or eyes first. I just said you face first because that's the most popular way people do it. This is my mirror, by the way. I'm looking at it. Okay, so that looks a lot better. And now we're going to do finish the eye. I can find it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the black ink can and smudge it on the bottoms of our eyes to align the bottom. Look up. Yeah, I just want to do that. Okay, so we did that. Now we're just going to blend it. Okay, so we're done with our eyeliner now. I know this kind of looks hardcore, but it will stay on stage. So that's how it looks. I hope you can see it. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the lips. So for lips, I'm going for red because that's the most traditional, like, dance kind of like look and so what I'm gonna do is take this red lipstick and it's from Revlon and it's a color bomb and just really perfectly apply that to the lips this usually is probably not what I would wear for stage but if it was hardcore stage like it was a really big Production out of this. Now I'm just putting the red lipstick on. Follow your natural um, lip on. You don't have to look um, 
I'm not lining my lips. Okay, so word and just rub that in and it should look really pretty. I know, okay, so I don't wear makeup every day. Not at all. I was just showing you guys this makeup tutorial and I think it's pretty. And And now we're going to put on a clear gloss. And this is also from my wand. You can put on chapstick before you put on lipstick or lip liner because you don't want your lips to chapped. I did do that. The lip gloss will just make your lips shine on stage. Okay, so that is the makeup look. You can totally do a different one. So I'm going to zoom in it now. I'm sorry. Okay, so we did the makeup. And yeah, I like it a lot. And sorry, this video is really long. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching so much and please give this video a thumbs up. We're trying to get to 15 subscribers at least. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. And uh, this this is my, my stage makeup tutorial. Remember guys, I don't wear makeup every day. This is... A little hardcore. I think I went to a little hardcore. You don't have to do the eyeliner. You don't have to like line your bottom. I'm not saying you have to do this. This is just the way I would do it if I was um, like doing like a really big pr production. And yeah, I don't wear makeup every day. I just like to play around with it. And this is my first makeup tutorial on this channel. And yeah, bye.